Tour Bays, it's your girl Brit Brack on live with the Breed Talk. And baby, we gotta talk about y'all favorite Dusty who likes to sling that peen to whoever will accept it, baby. I'm talking about Ryan Henry from Black Ink Chicago. And he's been out here creeping with his best friend's baby mama. And he's the god daddy to both of Anthony Lindsay's boys child they'll make men like they used to it's a mess now before we get into that let's like comment and subscribe tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts and remember opinions are not facts baby we're gonna have to tap into calling up spirit so oracle because child she gonna have to do a lot of healing powers for anthony Lindsay. he just beat cancer now let's get into the mess i hope y'all have y'all reading glasses for all of this See y'all, they've been friends for over 10 years. This is crazy. They went on vacations together. This isn't someone that just popped up out of nowhere. Like Ryan is his son's godfather. They went on boys trips with the family, bringing their kids along. This just goes to show you what type of person Ryan is. Kids, mom, my friend. Rachel, me and Bert, they're doing me this whole journey, man. Like, today, we be cancer free. Like, it's crazy. Like, mm -hmm. like, I always believed in my heart that I was gonna beat this shit. This nigga, even when I didn't believe it, he'd be like, nigga, for Katie, for Katie, for Katie, for Katie, for Katie, for Katie. But the, the, the doctor called me and said, um, it's zero detection. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 detection. I'm like, so it's nothing. He's like, nothing. I'm like, you told zero. I'm like zero. You like you want to say zero, nigga? So man, this to be zero, man. This been, I appreciate the people that lit me up because yeah. I couldn't hit it without support, man. I gave yeah. up. I swear to God. Yes. You ain't just sleep with oh your man's baby mama or whatever. All all that type of shit is snake shit. Lame nigga shit, grimy nigga shit, right? But you talking about a whole nother level when the person that you stabbing in the back fucked with you so hard that they wanted you to be their uh, they kid's godfather. And you repay them by laying pipe to their woman. That's how you repay that man, Ron Henry. That's how you move out here. You just a snake ass nigga, man. And, and and then on the females part, are we surprised with these hoes, man? These women, man, they they know how to play it cool and be sneaky, man. You running around here sleeping with your man's. Again, this is crazy. It's super messy. Honestly, are we surprised? Ryan literally will sleep with anybody. I mean, he's been linked to multiple women in the industry since he's been on TV. 
I honestly don't know when he has time to tattoo with all this hoeing he's doing. But this was his response to his best friend putting it out to the world how he feels and how he's hurt by two people who he loves dearly sleeping with each other behind his back during a period of time where he felt like giving up. Y'all heard him say that in the video. So let's take a look at this. Again, so this is Ryan Henry's response due to copyright issues. We cannot play the video with the sound on. If you follow me on the free apps, you'll get you'll be able to listen to it. At the end of the day, Ryan Henry is doing what dusty niggas do. And that's caping, doing the absolute most, showing a lack of accountability. See, I told y'all they are perfectly aware of their actions. They just don't care. How do you mock your best friend's pain by showing out in a club with no mask on in the midst of Corona? I mean, are we serious? Are we serious? I knew when Kat told the truth on you. I knew you were dusty because he hurried up and snatched Rachel's arm and pulled her away and then tried to fight Big Fish Production Company afterwards for simply allowing these two women to talk it out, which led to violence because Ryan did not want to face the truth. See, a man like that is dangerous. And I told y'all ladies, men who can't keep it in their pants will sleep with men. He is hypersexual. He's always linked to some socialite, some influencer, or some celebrity. He does not have any morals, no principles, and no values. At the end of the day, even if that woman approached him, he should have turned her down. He should have turned her down. I mean, how do you go with sleeping with your best friend's baby mother? Someone who you probably went to a baby shower for, hailed after she pushed out that baby. I mean, it's just crazy to me. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the dysfunction I speak on when we talk in the Level Up That Puts This Podcast sector. Okay, I tell you about the pathology of men like this because I don't want y'all to be victims. I don't care how fine he is. The devil is going to come in everything that you ever wanted. Um, I don't think Anthony Lindsay is any better, you know, because he has two baby mamas over, but he did not deserve for his best friend and his baby mother to be sleeping with each other while he was battling something in the darkest time of his life. See, I had my grandfather die of cancer, so I understand his pain. I understand how he feels because my grandfather would tell me he just hated. He just hated being sick and he wished he could just get better and then he died. So you have this man who actually fought it and survived and he has to find out that his baby mother, who he probably was still sleeping with, is sleeping with Pass Around Ryan, Dirty D Ryan, Shrimp Peen Ryan just disgusting but those are my thoughts those are my opinions how do y'all feel about this do you feel ryan henry is at fault do you blame solely the baby mother and sis is a hispanic woman she is not black she claims she's mixed raced or something like that and i'm like thank god because she would have been all types of black bees you heard that content creator but either way it goes comment down below and i gotta go bye hoes